Yeah, welcome to today's class. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are will be integrating a fraction. I'm going to show you the easiest way you can use to integrate this fraction. First of all, we need to understand what integration is like. I'm going to tell you what you really need to do if you want to integrate. When you want to integrate, all you are interested is in the power of your what variable for example the power of t you will add one to the power of t and you are going to divide by your new power two plus one that is integration there is nothing too hard about it so this is exactly what we are going to do here but before that we have a fraction so how do we now simplify this fraction before we start integrating that is where this particular topic is going to be very very interesting okay so let's do that then if you have a fraction and you want to integrate it, I will advise you first of all, simplify it this way. This particular fraction can be simplified further as 2 over 3 divided by t squared plus 3t squared divided by t squared minus 1 divided by t squared. All right? Everything dt. Okay. Now, we are going to go back to indices i know that some of you have forgotten but in this case you don't have options so let's go back to our indices what does indices say about two numbers that are of the same base that are dividing each other now indices says that if you have a number that is if they are of the same base if you have two numbers that are of the same base for example we have x to the power of three divided by x to the power of two the law of indices states that we should do what? We should pick one of the bases, which is x, and we are going to what? Subtract the powers. Now, when we do that, we are going to have x to the power of 1, which is also equal to x. Just pick one of the bases and subtract what? The powers. As easy as that. So, we are going to use this knowledge now to do what? To work on this particular question that we have here. So, let us simplify this further. We are going to have integral of this t over 3 over t over 2. Notice that they have the same base, right? And they are dividing each other. According to the law of indices, we are just going to pick one. So we are going to pick one of the base and we are going to subtract what? The power, okay? 3 minus 2. Plus, we write 3t, 2 minus 2. Okay, instead of us to disturb ourselves here, we can just cancel this and this. So we are left with only 3 minus we have what this is same thing as t to the power of minus two yes let me explain according to our indices indices states that if you have one over x that it is equal to x to the power of minus one that is if you want to remove your one over x you introduce your negative sign to the power of your x all right in the same way if we have one over x squared it's now going to be x to the power of minus two because the power of x here is two so similarly, that is exactly what I did. This becomes t to the power of minus 2. Now, at this point, I believe that some of you are just seeing this channel for the first time. So please, I think it's time for you to click on that subscription button and then on your notification bell as well so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I'm sure you wouldn't like to miss my next video, right? Okay, now let us continue. Please help me to comment okay comment comment like like share so that this particular video will be distributed more for the benefit of our students all right okay let us continue now this is now simplified so this is same thing as integral of three minus two will give us one all right so t to the power of one which is still t all right because t to the power of one is still t so t plus three minus t to the power of minus two dt now this is what we'll be solving so what do we do from here from here we need to separate this separately we need to separate these terms yes because we are going to do what we are going to integrate them separately as well so it's going to be integral of t dt plus three integral of three dt minus integral of what t to the power of minus two all right then this is what sorry the t this is what we are going to integrate now i did not do anything instead what i did is i separated these terms integral of t dt integral of 3 dt and integral of what t minus 2 
dt this dt is just telling us that we are integrating with respect to t it's not actually that we are going to integrate dt but it's just telling us that we are integrating with respect to t so we start our integration even though there is no power on this t we know that the power of t here is one yeah when there is no power on your variable the power is one because t to the power of one is still t now if we want to integrate this it's going to be t to the power of one plus one right in integration remember what i explained in the beginning of this particular video that for you to integrate you add one to the power of your variable and you divide by the new power our new power now is one plus one okay plus the same thing here we are going to have three okay in this case it seems there is no t at all not to talk of the power of t that we are going to integrate but we all know that according to law of indices that any number to the power of zero is one so that means that t to the power of zero is equal to one so it means that if i add t to the power of zero to multiply these three that have not changed anything is still what three times one which is equal to three therefore because t to the power of zero doesn't change the value of our three which is this i'm going to write it here i'm going to add it to our word variable to our constant sorry so anytime you have only constant and you are asked to integrate add the variable to the power of zero for example if what we have here is the x that is we have t x x x the x the x you are going to add x to the power of zero i added t to the power of zero because we are differentiating with respect to t remember okay so let us go ahead and solve so if this is what we have now we are going to add one to the power of our t and we are going to do a divide by the new power all right minus this is t to the power of minus two we are going to add one to the power and divide by the new power which is minus two plus one then at this point we add our constant of what integration this plus c we need to add it okay then let us continue this is t one plus one will give us two over what two plus three t zero plus one is one over one minus t minus two plus one will give us minus one over another minus one plus c okay this is equal to t to the power of two over t plus this will still give us three t right yeah because t to the power of one is still three is still t minus now please pay attention you know that minus minus will give us plus yes this divided by negative one will still give us another negative sign right so that negative and this negative is going to give us plus so negative negative we turn this to plus then you have t to the power of minus one plus c now this particular solution is correct 100% correct but if this is a, an objective question there is possibility that you are not going to see this exactly the way it is then another way we can express this solution is what 1 over 2 t to the power of 2 plus 3 t plus now remember that this has negative sign right t to the power of minus 1 if we want to remove this negative sign we'll bring the t down right so it's going to be 1 over t plus c it's supposed to be t to the power of one but t to the power of one is still t all right this is the final solution i am so glad you watched to the end thank you so much for watching if you reached here because i want to know those that really watched to the end i would like you to comment nice i really want to know how many of you that watched this video to the end just help me to comment nice in the comment section let us confuse those that really didn't watch to the end thank you so much for watching do have a lovely day Bye.